everybody. It's the next day. We got a lot of the fence built. I want to show you all something. If I can show you. I got that. Oh, let me get this. Sorry. Got that farmer's tan going on, guys. Check it out. <laughs> got a sunburn yesterday. Always putting up the fence and everything. Man, it's a nice morning out. Hear the birds. It is nice out today. It's, I think it's going to be in the high 70s, low 80s. Got a few things we're going to do today, but it's going to tell y'all. I'm going to be ordering Hunter some uh, some fishing shirts. I'm going to get him a. Uh, he's got a brand new catfish rod. He hasn't got to use yet. Uh, we got it right before he left, but he'll be back to use that. I'm getting him a, uh, a nice bass rod, some uh, fishing shirts, the long sleeve UV protecting ones because I don't want him burning. Uh, probably getting some hats, looking at a few things I'm going to be ordering him. Uh, he loves that kind of stuff, and uh, he'll be back in my heart, I know, pretty soon. Uh, the Lord gives me hope in the Bible verse you'll see at the bottom. Um, you can't lose hope, and uh, you cannot uh, give up. On your God or your beliefs no matter what anyone tells you um, it's my right as an American to uh, to believe and to have my religious beliefs and uh, my, my Savior is Father Jesus and uh, he died on the cross for me and for everybody that's accepted him really everybody I mean even if you haven't accepted him he still loves you and hopes that you do the right thing and I hope that you find him but uh, he's gonna be coming home uh, you know, the tongue holds the power of life and death, and I speak it every day that he's coming home. Uh, evil's not going to prevail in this. Um, but yeah, we're going to get another day started. I want to show you all kind of what's going on. Uh, decided that me and Hunter is going to be getting a new home. Uh, a new house will be coming. I got to get the property cleaned up down where I'm going to put the house. Uh, me and my dad had started a project on a uh, mobile home that I fought so hard to keep over the years, and, uh, my dad had redone it, and I'd helped him. We got a lot done. He done a lot. I mean, it didn't even have walls on it when we first got it. And uh, we needed a place to stay, and he said he'd fix it for us to stay there. But he always told me, you know, he said, hey, it's an old mobile home, and it's not going to last forever. Well, I tried to get it to because it was one of the last things I had left of my dad besides, you know, the tools and stuff that he's left me. And finally, you know, it's come time that uh, it's time for it to go. And um, we can't take these things with us, and I still have his memories. But it's going to be out with the old and in with the new, which my dad would be proud of that, knowing I was getting a new house. So I'm going to be getting a new house. Uh, you're probably going to see me and Chris doing a lot of work on the land, getting, you know, Hunter's home ready. It's going to be a brand new home for him to come home to. And uh, it's going to be really nice. He's going to love it. And uh, we're going to design it how we want to. And uh, it's going to be cool. So that, that's going to be coming here pretty soon. You'll see us working on that. I'll go show you all the property and how much work I've got to do. And I'm sure I think Chris is going to help me, Sarah, and everybody else. We've all been pulling together. So uh, I'll go down and show you all what we're going to get done. And uh, we got some beautiful flowers came up in the pasture. I'll show you those also. Mom really likes them. So maybe some of you will know what they're called. Let's go for a little ride on a four-wheeler, guys. All and, right, guys. Uh, I'll show you around. This is my property here. That's the mobile home that's going to have to go. But uh, this will all be mowed, cut down, gardens and orchard over there. Chris, I'm going to have to have help me do that. And uh, we'll set the new house where the mobile home's at so that way we can use the sewer and everything. All this back to there will all be cleared out. There's my truck I'm getting fixed here in just a few days. And of course the garden over here, we have a huge garden area. And we're going to transform this right in front of your all's eyes. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful place. we got all these shade trees out front. And we'll be taking care of that here just as soon as we can. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a work in progress. It ain't going to happen overnight, but it's all going to happen. So let's go look at those flowers. Check out how pretty these flowers are, guys. Is that pretty?
I just wanted to show you all my ducks and chickens right there. They're growing up. They got big. And eventually, you'll get to see them in full size. They're doing really good. I play with them every single day. All right, guys, we're going to give him his favorite snack, his feed, before it gets too rainy or whatever. There you go. Yeah, he likes his feed. Yeah. All right. Polo's fed and watered now. Yep. Storms are going to be coming for sure, it looks like. They say on the radio it's not going to storm, but looking at the sky. Yeah, it's going to storm. I think so too, buddy. All right, guys, I'm going to let Logan talk to you and show you the sheep for a second. I've got to lock this up. Sheep's loving that food. We get him sweet, Danny. He already got water. We watered him, like Mike said. And then we might catch some storms on camera for y'all. I tell you what, he's gotten fatter. He is getting fatter, ain't he? Yeah. See that over there, guys? They're saying no rain. I think I'm feeling sprinkles right now. So am I. Are you? Yeah. It is sprinkling right now, guys. So. You know it's like hot. They was wrong. It's raining again. Never trust the weather, man. Oh. Oh, I just found another one. Yeah. You can see, guys. It looks like rain. Oh crap! Whoa! It, watch out. And it says no rain. Well, I disagree. I disagree too. All right, guys. Hello, everybody. It's Kay and Logan. We got bored sitting at the house and thought this would be a good evening for me to come catch a big old catfish. Logan thinks he's going to catch the biggest one. He gets so excited because they're jumping everywhere. Yeah. Who's going to catch the biggest fish? No. No, I don't think so pretty out here guys nice calm all right we'll let you know when we hook one see you in a few I do. you've got one there he is get him good one it's a big one catfish yep Oh. You want me to hold the line up for you? There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that I was going to catch one. Pretty insane. Look at him. We're going to have to eat him for dinner. Good. Oh, yeah, he's got one. Oh, yeah, bring him on in. Come on, real. All right, back up. You can pull him up. Another cat. Back up, baby. I have to untangle this. Okay, back up. Hey. Come on, buddy. I'll untangle it. Ugh. All right, that's good. Go down there, pick it up by the sinker. I know. I see. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, yeah. That's a white. Hey. Those are the bomb. <sighs> yep. That's a nice one. Hold him up there where I can see Oh, you. he's heavy. Is Ow. he heavy? He's hurting me. That line. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice one, right? Yeah. I'm just running it through the fields. I can't push it through there. You're going to eat them anyway. I'm supposed to be doing other things. <laughs> Pull this. I don't know how we're going to keep you out of these. You're going to have to learn how to do these guys. 
Yeah. I need a pair of gloves. This is bigger than yours. Right yours? Good job, Logan. Now he'll take this thing if you don't tie it. Got another one, Logan? Yep. Oh boy. Come on. Logan is a fishing dude tonight. Oh, oh, we're getting fight. I think it's an alligator. He did the death row. Yeah. He's doing the death row, Logan. I know. He's Get him. Get him. So right Get him. Come on. It just popped off. Are you They're kidding me? <clears throat> How your first fished? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was mine. Bender. Thank you. We're going to be eating good tonight. Probably. What happened? What was that? Hmm. Cool. I'm a rock to a mud bottom right into that creek. Check <laughs> him out, guys. Oh my! I think I took the lead. I probably shouldn't. Right in his eye almost. Probably shouldn't have bragged. Probably there shouldn't have. There he is. Man, I guess the fish queen. I know you're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. It's been a while since they got a bite, guys. I went down and tried down there and I didn't catch any. But it is a bad night. The full moon. Everybody knows catfish stop biting on the full moon night. Now they'll bite right before the full moon, and they did. That's what my uncle always said. That uh, he said when that moon gets up, they'll quit on a full moon night. And uh, he's <laughs> he's always been right as long as I've known him. But uh, got some pretty good eaters. We got enough to go in the freezer anyway. When we get home? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I Don't. think Nan caught the biggest one. I'm of course not. I did. Shut up. <laughs> Check that moon out, guys. It's beautiful down here. I'm going to catch some megalodon. I'm blowing boots on the ground tomorrow in that moon down here, so that should be pretty interesting. This is our fishing video, though. Yep. Oh, that's pointing at my face. Nan got a bite. Oh, that was a big one too. Did we get him? I've been getting a couple bites. I got more than Nan so far. I think we're tied. We got four so far, I think. Do we? Three? I thought we had four. Mike caught one, you caught one, I caught one, and then you caught another one. Huh. I think, I guess so. Oh yeah, I, I let him go. I showed them. Oop. I'll let you know. Let y'all know if we get another.